Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and web designer techtips.com. Well, we got a bit of fun for you today. Got a little button here, more information there. When I click on it, it's going to pop up some content. We got a little bit of interactive content here. We got a contact form, got a little gallery. You can pop out into Lightbox, etc. Then when you're done, you can close this thing up, go back to the page. Really nice little feature, no plugin involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now let's go down, I'll delete what I've got here. Here's the actual pop-up, I'm going to delete that button. And here's the actual content that we want to pop up. So I'm going to delete that whole section there. Let's add a new section there, little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. This is the actual content that we want to be popped up. You can put in anything there that you want. I'm going to do similar as I did before here. Let's check a call to action in there. You might notice there's no button. Button doesn't turn up in a call to action until you put a link in. So let's put a button link in. I'll just put a hashtag in. There's a button for that. Now let's add a contact form over here. And I'll leave it pretty much just as it is. I'm sure you know how to configure your contact form, add new fields here. If you want to put a title in, you put it right here. Success message is what pops up when they've submitted it. Submit button, you can have something rather than submit there if you want to. Of course, the important part is just down below here, the email. You want to put in the address you want the message delivered to there. It's got spam protection and redirects after. I'm going to leave everything on the default. And then just down below here, let's just throw in a few graphics or something. So I'm going to add a new little row. I'm going to make my full section. And let's just add a gallery. And we'll throw in some images. I want about eight. So I selected the first one, held my finger on the space and selected the last one. It selected all in between. There's loads of little images in there. Let's show eight of them. And I don't want any pagination or names underneath. So in elements, let's turn title and caption off. Great. Well, let's just make, make this stand out a little bit more. Let's give this perhaps a dark background. I mean, the section there, background. I'm going to make mine not quite black. Say 24, 24. That's fantastic. Now, let's just shake these up a little bit here. In the actual row themselves, I'm going to make the background black there. Got to give it a little bit of padding left and right. So in design... Going to go down to spacey. I'm going to get 5% left, 5% right. I hit the little chain, it'll do the opposite side. Fantastic. And I'll give it a little border on the top. You've got all four. Top, which is what I want at the moment. Right, bottom and left, you can do it individually. I'm going to make mine four pixels. Make it purple. I'm going to make it dashed. Great. And I'm going to do exactly the same to this row underneath here. Background black. Over to design. Give it 5% left and right on the padding. Then we'll give it that little border, perhaps on the bottom this time. And that was 4 pixels. Purple. Dashed. Great. Okay, this is the content that we want to pop out. Let's just make that title a light color so we can see it. All right, let's just make it purple. There we go. Great. Now we need something to pop it out with, a button. So up here, or anywhere you want to put your button, I'm just going to add a new button. There's a button module. Let's say more info or whatever it is you want to put on yours. 
and I'm going to pop it in the middle over the design and alignment. Great. Very good. So how do we make this button pop up this content? Well, we're going to use a little bit of code supplied by Elegant Themes here. So go over to our Elegant Themes page and I'll put this page URL down below the video for anybody that wants to use it. You need to go here. If we rolled it down the page about halfway, we've got some CSS code. You want to copy this CSS code from the, the body at the top there, all the way down to the last curly bracket, control C. Then if you go to your Divi dashboard, you want to go down to Divi, to theme options. And if we roll down, right at the bottom under the general tab, you've got custom CSS. There's something there, you could scoot it down. And just paste your new code over the top control v to paste and we've got it in there i'm going to undo that because i've already got mine further down in in here but that's what you want to do once you've done that hit your save changes button just to show you mine is down here somewhere here we go right here then we need to go back to our elegant themes here we roll down a little bit more we've got a bit of javascript we need to copy this from the opening script tag so the closing script script tag there control c to copy again we'll go back to our dashboard theme options this time if we roll up to the top we're going to move from the general tab over to the integration tab we're going to add it to the head of the blog right here again if something's in there you can just scoot it down move it out of the way I'm not going to paste mine in there because I've already got it. Once you put it in there, again, hit your save changes. This is what's going to trigger the pop up. Now, if we look back over here, have a read of this page. It'll tell you how to do multis on one page if you want to. Just going to change that last number there. It's telling us that we need to give the button the class of ETLB button one. So I'm going to copy that. We go back to my page, I'm going to go into my button here. And we've given this button no link whatsoever. It's just static as it is there. I'm going to go over to the advanced, I'm going to go to CSS IDs and classes, and I'm going to give it that class name. Make sure you put it in class and not ID. Now this content here that we don't want to see until we click on the button, we've got to give a different class. We roll up just a little bit. It's telling us to assign ETLB content one to the content. Give it that class name. So again, I'm going to copy that control C. We'll go back to the page. This time I'm going to go into this whole section or you go into a row if you just had the one row. I'm going to go over to advanced. CSS ID in classes again. Again, we want to put it in the class, not the ID. ETLB content one. Save our changes here. Great. We should be good to go. What I'm going to do is save. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. We'll exit the visual builder. Roll on down. There's our little button. And you may have noticed that the content that we created has disappeared here. That class is hiding that content. When I click on this button, that content's going to pop up there. And oh, we've got a nice little close button here. I've actually got a purple one because I've set mine to that. I'll show you how to change the color on that button. If you've got a dark or a light background, more information, that's good. If you've got a dark or a light background, you may have trouble seeing that. So I'll show you how to change that X. And of course, they can go in here, they can click on the button, they can fill out the form, they can do the light box on the images if they want to. And click out. Okay, that little X, to change the color of that X, go back to your dashboard, back to the general tab, and down to that CSS code that we had there. And if we look down at this code, we can roll down, and it'll even tell you color of the closing icon here. The moment I've got a purple color in there, let's change that back to white. 
Now remember, if you've got this in here and you're using multiple pop-ups over pages, it's going to change it on all of those. You can use a code, code module and do different ones for each page if you want to. And we'll save those changes. Back to the page, do a quick refresh. Let's go down and pop that up now. And as you can see, that little X is white. So there you go, guys. There's a great way of adding a little pop-up to your site. I've used this plenty of times on client sites. I usually just use it for a little contact form here, but you can go to town. You can put in whatever you want there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to do a little demo video or answer the question for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.